Okay, y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, we got a lot of ingredients over here. Guess what we finna make? Y'all already know, this is gonna be some mac and cheese. I got my noodles over here in this cast iron pot. My noodles cooking, I've already seasoned my noodles. My pasta, my elbow. And normally, y'all know, I'm an Instant Pot girl. I normally had them noodles on the Instant Pot, okay? So I'm just going back old school, pretending I don't have an Instant Pot to put my noodles in. Because them noodles would have been done by now. So let's get on with the other ingredients. So we have these cheese, sharp cheese. We have some Velveeta, some Parmesan. We got a little Kobe. And my favorite, we got some smoked Gouda. Love some smoked Gouda cheese. A little mustard powder, stick of butter. Just a little nut, nutmeg. Young folks don't know, nut, don't know anything about this old school mac and cheese. I'm here to tell you. Have one egg, a little paprika. We have some heavy whipped cream. And you know, back in the day, you got to have that carnation milk. Don't play, don't play. We got one fourth teaspoon of um, flour because we're going to make a roux. Yes, we're going to make a roux. We're going to just throw it together like we, young folks normally do. Some young folks still do country cooking but the majority of this generation they don't know they don't know about this life and we got just a little creole so once my um noodles get done my pasta noodles pasta same of still pasta same thing once that gets done i'm gonna come back and we're going to begin to make this roux so if you want to learn how i make my roux when i really do some show enough mac and cheese stay tuned and i'll be back don't touch that dial Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm back. So my noodles, pasta, noodles, whatever, have cooked. So we're going to use one stick of butter, and we're going to let that melt. And let me see if I can bring you over a little bit so you can see how I'm going to do this roux. Okay, so we're going to make this roux for this mac and cheese. Let me find my, um, my little pot hose. Let me get this over here. Gonna get this all melting. I just um I didn't rinse my pasta, I just drained it because we're gonna put it back in this pot. We're gonna go and let this melt up. We're gonna have one stick of butter, a butter, and we're going to have one fourth teaspoon of um yeah, one fourth cup, talking about teaspoon, one fourth cup of flour. We're gonna have some carnation milk that's gonna give it a rich flavor. A little heavy cream or you can use half and half or you can use whole milk whatever your heart desire i also have an egg over here i showed you the ingredients earlier but we finna make this roux right now and then we're gonna put all the other stuff together okay that's what we're gonna do let me get my gouda cheese over here All right, so I got my Gouda cheese. I'm telling y'all, this stuff right here, some Gouda cheese with some crackers, is so, so good. It was on sale today. No, I did not pay $9.99 for this block of cheese. Show sure didn't. It was on sale at Harris Teeter for $6.99. And believe me, it is so, so, so good. So we're going to get this all up in here. We're going to make this roux. And you don't want to have it on too hot because you don't want your roux to burn, okay? You won't have that scorching or taste. So we're going to do like this, so like this. This is like making a regular gravy. This is what we did back in the day. So turn it up. And then we're going to add our flour, our one-fourth cup. I kept saying teaspoon, one-fourth cup of flour. And you can let it cook just a little bit. If you want your roux a little bit darker, that's okay. I've already seasoned my noodles with some uh, cracked black pepper and uh, kosher salt. So we got this all in here, sort of like this right here. Get that all up. And it's going to bowl up, get the cooking. And then once we get the cooking, we're going to add some more ingredients. Thank God this fan up here, y'all, this microwave makes so much noise and it be so loud. So let me get this cheese, this which cheese I want to add first. I think I want to add the sharp cheddar cheese first after we finish with the roux. Okay, so got your roux started. We're going to go ahead on and pour about a half a, half a box of this in there of the heavy whipped cream. 
get that all up in there so like so like that. Let that cook a little bit. And I'm gonna only add just a tad bit of black pepper because I had to crush this black pepper. Okay, just, just a little bit. I had to go to old school and do some crushing. Crush that black pepper up with my mortar. <laughs> All right, got a crushed black pepper in there. Just a little bit. A lot of people might not want a lot of pepper. Now, my son, he loves some black pepper. Carnation milk. I'm going to put this in there. So, like, so, like that. Going to keep stirring because you, you don't want it to burn it, okay? Then I'm so like so like that right there. All right, let me put the rest of that in there. Then that's so like so like that. Okay, now we're going to start adding our cheese. Then we're going to add yes, all of that cheese, sharp shit cheddar. As Kimmy can say, yes, <laughs> I love some Kimmy creation. I'm turning my um, eye down a little bit, turn it down. Let's go ahead on and put this Gouda cheese up in there, that delicious Gouda. And that will melt. It might not melt eventually, but it'll, it'll melt. Turn this down a little bit more. Look how creamy that is, how creamy it is. See, it's melting. Melting. I'm gonna get a little bit of whole milk. Just get a little bit of whole milk in here. And that's all the milk we'll need. Hope nobody ain't lactose uh, tolerance like me because this, all this cheese and this milk, oh, but it's gonna be so good, y'all, so good. All right, we're gonna put a little paprika. Go ahead and put that in there, a little something like, something like that right there, just a little bit. And I have my egg, but I'm putting that last. And you always want to put a little net, net, net meg, just a little bit. That's going to give it a, a good flavor. We have a little mustard powder. Put some of that mustard powder in there. So like, so like that. Okay. So I'm just making a small pan. Okay, then we're going to put... Some Parmesan cheese. Let's go on and put that in there. Yeah, we're going to put all that Parmesan up in there. Uh-oh. Then I'm splashing it everywhere. And we have some Kobe. We have some Kobe Jack. Let's go on and put some Kobe up in there. Okay, put some Kobe. All right, now we're going to add our... going to add our noodles back in there. The same... This, look, the same pot, y'all. One pot, Okay. I might have had too many noodles. My daughter actually wanted me to make this mac and cheese. Because my uh, one of my granddaughters is getting ready to go, go off to school. So I told her I can make some mac and cheese. When she's ready to go to college, we're giving her a little uh, going away party. It's going to be bittersweet, but she'll be fine. See how that's creamy that's coming? We're going to put it in the oven now. Okay, y'all, don't, 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 don't get scared. We're going to put it in the oven. And Morgan say, don't be scared, don't be scared. I got all that in there, and then you can taste it and see what's the, what you want, what your taste buds are. And that's how you make your roux. And like I said, I'm going to, I don't want to cook my eggs, so I'm going to cut this off. And then I will add my egg, and then we're going to put this on top, the Velveeta cheese. We'll put that on top. So this is the mac and cheese. Look at that, y'all. Let me go on and cut this off. Let me see what it's tasting like. Let me see. Let's see what we got here. If I can get one out. Okay, these doggone noodles. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. This right here might be saying something. Mm. My God. Yeah, this is pretty good right here. This is very rich. <laughs> I mean, it's very rich. When I have my dish right here, 
So we're gonna put in this, I'm gonna come back. We're gonna bake this for 25 minutes on 3 fifth. I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like. So don't touch that dial. I'm gonna add my egg in and we're gonna be good to go. Thanks for watching.